healing. And that's what we want to see. I, 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 it made me laugh when I was reading. I was thinking about healing, and I remembered something that someone sent to me about kind of this, his name is Richard Chandler, and he was working with some of the most intense people that had real mental hurdles and mental handicaps, delusional to the, to the and he was working with them, and he, and he was talking about one of the methods that he uses was just kind of like real brutal truth to make sure that if we can have honesty, maybe we can snap you out of bad thinking and, and to speak truth. And he said he walked into one of the hardest cases, walked into a place, and Chandler said this, he said, when he walked in, there was a guy who, like, has been in there for years, thought he was Jesus. He just says, I'm Jesus Christ, welcome my brother, thank you for coming, God bless you, and he's going, so you're Jesus. He goes, yes, my brother, I am Jesus, I've come for you, I love you, and Jesus, and and so Chandler started, and this is what he did, he said he left the room and came back with a tape measure. And he says, Jesus, would you just hold out your arms? Just hold them out. And he said he started measuring his arms. Then he started measuring his body. And so he's just going, thank you, my brother. Thank you for measuring me. And then he goes out. He comes back in with wood, nails, and a hammer. And he goes, (laughs) this is what he said. He said in the article, he goes, you know why I'm here, and starts hammering a cross together. And at that point, the patient goes, I'm not Jesus. I am not Jesus. <laughs> I'm just telling you, how many know truth can really snap somebody out of it once in a while?